All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we're gonna start a new project. And in case you're wondering, no, we're not done with the trike, we're not done with the 944, but guess what? I never finish anything. We're not gonna stop working on them. We're just gonna be plenty of time on the new project where we're sitting there waiting on materials to arrive, uh, parts and everything else. So in that shipping time, we'll be working on the trike and the 944, finishing those out. But let me tell you what the new project car is. We're gonna take one of these and put it inside one of those. So what you see behind me, what you see behind me right here is the drivetrain and suspension for the new kit car. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the kit car. And wait a minute, that's a trike. Where the hell is my kit car? In all seriousness, the kit car is on the way. It is being built right now, the body is done. They are now building the chassis. So with that being said, what is it? It is a McLaren F1 inspired kit car called the Gruyon DDR. In this case, we are getting the Gruyon DDR GT8 chassis with a GT8 SS body, which has a little bit of more of a clamshell on the top of it. And what we're doing is we're taking a Tesla Model 3 drivetrain, it's a performance motor, front motor, all-wheel drive, Tesla battery, so it's going to have the same, if not better, range because it's going to be lighter, and we're going to put it inside the kit car. So as we build this, I will have a running total at the end of each episode of how much all the parts have cost and the to a running total for the whole build. So with that being said, we did get a motor controller and battery controller from InGenX. Now what I need to do next is I need to take off the inverters, off the motors, and the oil pumps, send them off to InGenX to be reprogrammed. So let me show you what that looks like. So right here, and here's your performance motor is a 980. Your non-performance is a 990. So this box on the end right here is the inverter. So we need to pull this guy off right here. And these bolts are, they look like star pattern. You could probably use an Allen on them, but the right tool is a Torx E14. And then for the inverter itself is Torx E10. Then when we pull those, we also gotta go down here. There's two more bolts right under here and here and then this plug comes out and then there is a positive and negative terminal which are 10 mil and we'll need to pull that off as well. Once those are loose the whole inverter can slide out. Then on the other side right here we have the oil pump which we also have to send off to be reprogrammed. Those are also Torx 10s. So we'll go ahead Pull all that off, ship it off to Ingenx, and then by the time it gets back with the motor controller, 
we should have the battery in and we should be able to connect all this and do a dry run, make sure the motors are good and go from there. So for now, first thing we're gonna do is uh, as per regulation, I'm sure the dismantlers drain the motors of oil, right? 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 No. Uh, I'm pretty sure they still have oil on them. So we'll go ahead and drain them. To drain them, you pull the oil pump off and it just drains straight down. So we'll go ahead and do that to both motors and then we'll pull the inverter. Just as I thought, full of oil. Mm. Doesn't look too dirty at all. We don't see any shavings or anything, so that's good. In case you were curious what the Tesla Model 3 oil pump looks like, there it is. And then right in here you can see the gears for feeding the oil. So we'll just let it sit here and drain out completely and then we'll get it packed away. With all the bolts on the perimeter off, we should be able to just pry the entire inverter out. We also did disconnect our power cables down here. There it goes. And just slide it out. All right, and here we go. This right here is the Tesla inverter. So we'll go ahead. There is the Tesla inverter, and you can see oh, the glistening spots. So we got all the components potted in and sealed. These are our three contactors for 
uh, the main lugs going to the motor. And then, mm, electronics. This right here is a heat transfer to the block right in here. So we've got to make sure that we get that covered up real nice and then put a new seal if needed. So, looks pretty good. Pull the seal. We don't need to be shipping the seal. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and ship this off after we disconnect the other one. All right, so what we did to this one, we gotta do to the front motor now. And if you guys are interested, I have these axle plugs I 3D printed out. So they got a little rib on them so they stay retained and then it's got a nice little handle so you can pull it out afterwards. And I'll be down in the description below for the print file. Montage. All right, now that we have that all taken apart, we have both inverters, we have some anti-static wrap. So this stuff, yes, it doesn't protect it from the outside anti-static, but it doesn't build a static charge, which is why I'm gonna use it on this. Granted, all these parts are potted, so it shouldn't affect anything, but just to be on the safe side, we're gonna take and use the anti-static foam or bowl wrap. So we'll go ahead, wrap it all up, stick it in some double wall packaging, Ship it off. shipped off to be reprogrammed at InGenX. Link down below for their website. And then I didn't really go into detail as to what the suspension is. DDR Motorsports, link down below. Uh, build your kid car around C5 suspension. So this is the suspension from a C5 Corvette and we're basically just using the A-arms front and rear from that. The spindles, and then the hubs on that are already the drive hubs, the front ones. Uh, same thing, we just replace the hubs with drive hubs and we'll be set up for all the drive with our new motors. All right, and that's gonna be it for this episode. Next episode, we're gonna dive into the details of uh, how we're gonna configure this, what it's all gonna look like, what the kit car actually is, and just do a, a more thorough deep dive on the build itself. For the time being, those are out, shipped off, being reprogrammed, battery should be arriving on Monday, and yeah, we should be pretty clear to rock and roll on this project. So with, every single, uh, with the conclusion of every single episode, I'm going to take and do a rundown of the parts that we've got in, in the episode, and add it to the total of a car build itself. 
So as we go through, we're going to go through and tally it all up and every single episode is going to add to the total so you can see exactly how much it's costing me to build this car. See you guys next time.